So today's video is going to be an unboxing video and it's going to be hands down the most expensive unboxing video I've done in my life to date and probably the most expensive one I'll ever do because I can't see something being more than this at least for this size. So anyways, it's in this iconic Tiffany blue bag so you can only assume what would be inside. So as you may have already guessed, it's a piece of jewelry in this little box so I'm just going to unbox it and show you what's inside. So I'm just going to go ahead and reveal what's inside this box and it's a Tiffany solitaire, Tiffany setting engagement ring. So that seems so crazy to say and kind of weird to show on camera once again. So yeah, this is absolutely stunning and of course I wanted to show some close-up shots of this. Let me just show you what it looks like once more. And this is so crazy to be doing in like a haul format because who hauls their engagement ring? But anyways, I thought these videos are really fun to watch and I really haven't seen any so I hope this is helpful for anyone who's in the market for this type of item. So this is what it looks like once more. <laughs> Now we're going to move on to some close-ups of the ring itself. So here we have a Tiffany setting Tiffany solitaire diamond engagement ring which is one of their iconic pieces. This is a 1.55 carat stone with a clarity of VS1. All Tiffany engagement rings come with a standard platinum band which an interesting fact about platinum is it's 950 parts out of a thousand of pure platinum whereas gold is only a 750 parts per a thousand of pure gold so this makes platinum generally twice the cost of gold rings. So based on various lighting sources your diamond will appear different so I'm going to demonstrate that in the following photos. So here's an example of what the ring looks like under the lights at Tiffany & Co and this picture is an excellent example of fire which is actually the refraction of light through the diamond casting a rainbow like effect and here's another example under direct sunlight outdoors this is what the diamond looks like under fluorescent lights at a coffee shop as you can see in comparison to the prior picture this diamond appears more bright but even so fluorescent lights are no comparison to natural sunlight as shown in this example as I'm indoors in my car so you can see the diamond is quite clear and bright now this is what the diamond looks like under LED light. I'm just using the LED light from my phone and as you can see there is scintillation which are the intense sparkles in a diamond as it moves. The more contrast a diamond has the more it appears to scintillate. As you can see here I've slowed down the prior clip to demonstrate this. One of the most iconic features of the Tiffany setting are the six prongs used to hold the diamond in place. As you can see here, the diamond sits quite tall, so this allows the optimal amount of light to go through the diamond. And with regards to the platinum band, it's not completely flat, it actually has a raised edge on it, which in my opinion gives the entire ring a more elevated look. So now I'm just going to walk you through what's in this packet. And basically the predominant item that's in here is the Tiffany & Co Diamond Certificate and Full Lifetime Warranty. So I'll try to show whatever papers I can that don't contain confidential information. So in this envelope is the business card of the sales associate who helped us out. Her name is Iris Huang and she's from the Rodeo Drive location in Beverly Hills. It's of course where we purchased this ring and non-surprisingly their selection is quite exquisite. They have very large rings, of course, for the clients that shop there. And the store is quite large as well. It's actually two stories with a fine jewelry being on top and the first level being the sterling silver and anything other than fine jewelry. Also in this envelope is we have the Tiffany Gemological Lab Report and basically it goes over the shape, which the Tiffany setting ring is a round shape. Also included in this report is the cut, which is brilliant, the carat weight, the color grade, fluorescence and in this case the diamond has none. Fluorescence refers to a diamond's tendency to emit a soft color glow when subjected to a UV light such as a black light. Beyond the four C's which we just mentioned before, Tiffany uses an additional valuation metric known as presence which includes the precision of cut and the diamond's high polish grade. Also included on the report is a clarity grade and this one is a VS1 diamond. Clarity is one of the four C's and below is a clarity grading scale with VS1 denoted as very slightly included. Also included on the report are the cut proportions. Cut is defined as the precise shape and positioning of a diamond's facets determining the stone's general appearance and its beauty. Lastly, included in this report is a clarity plot which pertains to the VS1 clarity valuation as I mentioned beforehand. As you can see denoted on the graph below is inscriptions where the cloud, the crystal, and the slight feathering are included. 
PS1 inclusions are not visible to the naked eye. Only an observer with a 10 times magnification would be able to detect such inclusions. Also included is an example of the sizing report, which in my case, my ring is being sized down to a 5.25. All Tiffany engagement rings are cut to a standard size 6. The first 1-2 to two resizings are complementary. So of course the first resizing is complementary and I believe the second one is complementary as well if it's within a reasonable time period that your finger size changes for some reason. And behind here is the, I can show this one, it's a Tiffany & Co full lifetime warranty and yeah, various bullet points and yeah, this warranty is intended for use in the United States, so I'm sure, of course, every country has their own particular warranty. Also included is this little drawstring dust bag, which I actually requested, but I think they're going to give it to you regardless. And the lady who gave it to me, the sales associate, said that it's good for travel. I don't recommend using this bag for too long because, as you know, it's just a drawstring closure and there are still some gaps. It's just good because there's some cloth inside, so nothing will get scratched if you really have to, you know, place it in flat storage if you want to travel with it or something. But yeah, this bag is good to have regardless. So that wraps up today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful as well. 